Good morning. Welcome to Marty's Tying Bench. Uh, today I'm tying a Iron Sally, a Ken Moorish pattern. This thing's come highly recommended. I don't know how it stayed under my radar for so long, but a good little yellow stonefly pattern. Um, I'm going to tie this on a size 14. 14s and 16s, probably very common. 12s, but keep this one small. You probably have other patterns you may like for golden stoneflies and California stoneflies. That uh, uh, I've got buddies that have done so well on this last summer and into the fall that you think I need a half a dozen of them or a dozen. So I thought I'd put this together for kits for this week's Rocky Mountain Flycasters Pub and Dub or to use social fly tying. Now I've got a 764 bead on a size 14 Dairiki 700. The 700 is a 4x long, but just any hook with the right amount of straight shank is going to work. Uh, 2x long, a nymph hook, uh, whatever you got. Now this is tied with a wire body, so uh, I don't think it needs a tungsten bead. I've got brass here, but you could certainly add to the weight if you wanted to. Now, this is a challenging fly. It's not uh, one of the easier ones that I've done, uh, but the, the good news is you, you take a shot at it, and if you do everything right, it's a fantastic looking little fly. And if you mess something up, it's still pretty darn good looking fly. So. Let's on, on to the challenge. First challenge is goose biots, evil goose biots. I'm going to take a couple of yellow or tannish yellow. You can vary the shades on this thing. Time in the way you know best. I'll give this a try. I like to match those tips up and keep them curved the same way and then just pinch it where you want to tie it in. I'm going to keep these relatively short but I'm going to go around with a loose wrap until they're both folded down and then just kind of jockey it until it's where I want it and there's your divided tails. Now I want to keep the abdomen pretty uniform in, in diameter because I'm going to be wrapping wire around it so I'm going to go ahead and come forward and wrap these biots against the hook. Yeah, it's still pretty smooth. Now for an overbody on the thorax, or excuse me, the abdomen, I got, I got thin skin. The original called for black crystal flash, but it's thin skin looks good and it's so much easier to work with. I'm going to tie this in at the front so I get the benefit of its addition to the diameter for the full length. Now check once in a while, make sure you're staying right on top. keep coming back until you get to where you tied the biots in. If you go any farther it's going to crush those biots together so that's perfect. If you tie your biots in right over the barb of the hook then you know to wrap your thin skin back to the barb of the hook and you'll be fine. The underbody is a brassy sized wire, gold, And I'm going to lay this in kind of towards the top. And you see I've extended it so it's the same length as the, the shank. And then I'll wrap forward. The top's going to be covered by the thin skin so you won't see a lump or a ridge from the wire. So I'm just keeping it off of the bottom so somebody inspects your fly and looks on the bottom, it should look nice and neat. 
now's the time for you to flatten your thread and go back and fill in any low spots because now we're going to wrap like a copper john one, two, three, four wraps. And then we're going to bring this thin skin forward and make the fifth wrap right on top of it. Then get it out of the way and resume. That little change right there is where you get lumps. So keep checking the bottom to see that your wire's right next to each other. It's one of those things that if it matters to you, take care. If it doesn't matter, just go. There's four wraps. Kind of springy wire. Now you can use different colors on this thin skin. This is speckled tan. And it's going to give us an overall lighter shade than if we were to use black crystal flash or a darker thin skin. I lost count. I hope that was four turns. And I'm just going to continue this forward. Hey, that looks pretty good. I don't think I overlapped anything. Just want to make sure you get uh, past the halfway point and maybe up to about a third of the way back from the bead. The last spool of this gold wire was nice and soft and easy. This stuff is hard and springy. Oh well. Okay, now for the wing case we could have left that thin skin on and just used it and folded it back and forth but I really like the look of this brown turkey tail you can see the notches where I've been cutting it away this feather's been prepared with soft X you can use Dave's flex cement there are some spray adhesives fixatives but if you look at that, that's way too thick. But it's thin down at the other end, so you're just going to use the part of it that's the right thickness. And if it's too wide like this one is, just go in there and peel out a few strands. There, now it's perfect. About the same width as the, the thin skin. I'm just going to take a loose wrap so that this thing shrouds the hook and sits centered on top. Then I'm going to bring my thread back a little bit. I'm about a third of the way back from the hook eye, but I'm going to fold this so that it extends back a little bit. Your proportions are going to be about 50-50 <coughs> counting the wing case, abdomen and thorax. Before we fold the thorax over, we need to install the first set of legs. And again, the original called for black crystal flash, but we're going to make this our version. So I've got a golden brown crystal flash. I'll tie that in on my side. And then take the other one to the far side. 
and tie it in. Now I got two legs going back. Now let's dub a little bit. The original called for Awesome Possum. I've taken a liking to this Wapsy Life Cycle. There's a Golden Stone. This one is a Caddis Yellow. And any yellow will do if you got rabbit dubbing. Awesome Possum, of course. I've even used tans and hairs your colors. So just kind of dub, leave some space in the front. We're ready to fold this wing over. Now if I just fold it over straight, it's only going to be on the front fourth and it's not a very good proportion. So we're going to fold it back a little bit. To help you do that, you might want to just stick your scissors in there until your scissors are right on the halfway point. And then fold it forward, and now you got a wing case that sticks back to the middle of the hook. That's a good looking little wing case. Now, see how that bead droops? So I always want to make sure that you, somewhere in there, you stop and get it centered again. Because I want to wrap that. thread right up against it. Now we're going to use this for a second wing case so I'm going to fold it back and measure it now and cut it so it's easier to work around. And we're going to cut it just a little bit shorter than the under one. Before other things get in the way let's trim the rear legs. I'm going to sweep these back and cut them the same length and I like them to be just a little bit shorter than the bend of the hook so that if that leg droops down it's not likely to foul against the bend. Alright, we're ready for the front legs. Same piece of crystal flash. Tie it in on the same side. Then tie it in on the other side. Okay, now we're ready for some more dubbing. And we may need to push legs and beads and things around, so keep this dubbing somewhat sparse and to the best of your ability, dub it tight to the hook. See that? Probably not. There's a better look. Come back up over the rear post, the rear, rear wing cover just a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is fold this back and lighten up on your thread tension so you can creep that thread right up on it to get it to fold back. Ready for a whip finish. Let's tie a couple. Okay, final step, trimming the legs. If it doesn't matter, just sweep them all up and cut them, cut them the same length, but I like to push the forward ones out and cut them about a bead and an eye. I've already measured the rear legs, so the middle legs I'm just going to cut so that there's something in between, not as long as the back legs, no shorter than the front legs. That looks good. Good looking flyer like this, make sure you use 3X. Okay, Iron Sally, have fun.